Alright, hey guys. So, I saw this clip. And it just got me thinking about the stupidity of this new generation of people. Um, again, and not just about, you know, the young generation. It's just the stupidity that social media makes people to be. So, let's just check it out and I'll tell you why I think what I'm thinking. ...to me for the past... 48 hours two days ago someone sent me a message request on instagram from a faceless account uh no followers no posts nothing and it was pictures of me that i had posted fully clothed completely clothed um and they had put them through some editing ai program to edit me naked they basically photoshopped me naked. And it's already weird to make that on your own time, but it's even weirder to send it to me. And what's even worse is that the next day when I woke up, I was getting dozens of DMs of these images, but without the watermarks. So this person paid to have the watermark removed and started distributing it like it was real. And they're really obviously fake too. Like if anyone has ever seen an actual Um I guess you could if you want to read. Actual picture or video of me, they'll know that I'm not built like that. I don't even have like a tattoo along my lower stomach. I don't have one there. I'm just letting you know that anything you see of me is edited or fake. I don't have any content. I don't sell content. None of that is real. And it's so gross. It's even more gross because the first time I tried to post about this, I was like, it's not real, by the way. And all the comments were so disgusting, like actually vile. They made me want to throw up. If you want to read. Up multiple times like they were all like now you gotta post the real ones where's the link obviously you want more people to see this that's why you're posting about it like no it's because i want you to know they're not real <laughs> please stop and i also kept getting comments of like you did this to yourself you asked for it by what posting pictures of me with clothes on how is that asking for it in any fucking way the only reason why you would want these pictures of me is because I don't want them out there. The only reason why you would want these pictures of me is because you like that it's unconsensual. You are a fucking rapist. I <clears throat> okay, so let me say this. Off the bat, there are bad people and good people in this world. That's just... That's just this world, right, is not a utopia. There is not, everyone is not good people. It's just, it's, it is a fact that there are bad people and good people, or maybe even the in-between, right? The spectrum, right? Kind of good, kind of bad, whatever. Now, right, she has, you know... No one has, it's not right for people to, uh, I guess, blame her or more, or like insult her. That, that's the thing where I say that you insulting the person is why, what are you going to do that? Right. You calling her names, you calling her <clears throat> whatever. I think that's not cool. Right. But my, where I'm coming from is, <clears throat> Where I'm coming from this at is that's the internet what I'm talking about. That's social media for you, right? The problem with social media is Just the access to everything I'm not saying that she deserve any of this, you know um, <clears throat> Sorry that um People take pictures of her, of her clothes, and then digitally alter it to look nude, and then send it out. You know, send it out.
But I want to say this, right? We have a problem with social media where we just overshare. And then we want, and we just want to share, right? We want to get attention because technically you're doing this. I mean, people who do social media things, they're getting attention of some form, right? Even I'm doing this, I'm trying to get attention from people to hear my words. It's just plain and simple. No, there's no lie about that. Um, but the thing is that we are sharing things to strangers, period. I get hate. I get people calling me names. It's <clears throat> that's life, right? That's that's life, especially online. I mean, even in real life, people call you names to your face. So if people will call your name to your face, imagine the you know the secrecy or the anonymity of being able to not show your face and insult people and just degrade people and just say say and do whatever you want online. It's going to be a hundred times worse online. I just think that women especially, because women are more vulnerable than men in that sense, to take pictures of yourself, post it online for strangers to see, I, I think it's ridiculous. I think women should not do that. Especially women that, let's say... You know, if you're not a model, you know, you're trying to make a living from posting your body, particularly your body online, then you shouldn't be posting yourself online at all, especially pictures, because you're, when you post something online in general, it's out there forever. There's all, and it's always, it's all also out there for people to take. People could download your pictures. People could you know, screen cap your pictures. People could do anything. People could take your pictures, even take your videos, right? Edit it, fix it, do whatever they want to it. That's just how it is. Technically, people don't own pretty much anything once they post it online. They can fight it in court, you know, if they want to go through the process of fighting for it, then yeah. But if you're not, people are going to take it, save it, do whatever they want to it, and then put it out for them. Uh, you know how they wanted to do right this is a thing where I'm saying that you don't blame the victim but you have to have a sense of accountability here's a young woman posting pictures of herself online to strangers right I guess maybe her Instagram maybe any other form of social media and then what does she expect so strangers to do just look at it and that's it. We have these are strangers, strangers that have the power or the um. Well, I guess it's the power of anonymity, right? The power that they can do whatever they want, and no one knows it's them doing it. Like I said, this world is not a utopia. It's not, and online it's a thousand times worse than that. People will be. A thousand times worse to to other people online. That's just that's a that's a reality that we have to face that we cannot deny. And like I said, I'm not blaming the victim, but you have to take accountability. You post things online, you post things on social media. What do you expect people to do? Be kind. Oh, it was, it's a beautiful picture. Walk away. No. There will be someone out there that could want to do some malice, wants to do something that could make you feel bad. And in this case, they took her pictures, edited it, showing her what they did to it, and then distributed it. Okay, you cry about it. Why? It's like you shouldn't have done it to begin with. You shouldn't have posted online to begin with. I'm sorry. People say that, oh, well, you're blaming the victim. You know, you're victim blaming. You think about this. If you never posted it online, it would not have happened, did it? It's not about blaming the victim. It's about holding a person accountable 
for their actions. It is not decreasing or taking away from the accountability of the person, the, abu the abuser who did it, and, and you know who did this, right? Stealing her pictures and then altering it to be vulgar and sending it out to people. It doesn't take away from that. It does not take away from that. Just like when some men say that, you know, you shouldn't go to parties, you shouldn't dress provocatively, you shouldn't be promiscuous, right? And then, you know, getting uh, attacked, abused, it's not, and you know, if that's the result, it's not like you saying, oh, you shouldn't have done those things, and then, you know, excusing the person who ab did the abusing. No, it's not. Two things can be true at once. People could not have done the action they did, and it will um, help them decrease the chance of gaining unflavorable results. Like I said, in this case, if she had never posted these pictures online, there's a highly likelihood that who would take who would take non-existent pictures and post them, right? I mean, now she does videos too, so again, that's something else too. But don't do those too. I mean, like, what can what can you say? It's like you put yourself online. What are you gonna think? People are gonna be nice to you. People are gonna be every everyone that every single person that sees you, especially as you get uh, more followers, more views, more eyes looking at you. It will decrease the chance of someone that is bad to do something bad towards you, right? So let's say she makes a video and only 10 people, 10 people watch it. Well, the chance of someone, you know, being mean or doing something terrible towards you is not that high. But let's say she makes the video, the same video, and now a million people watches it. Well, the chance of one of one of those person in the million to, to do something bad to you is very high. It's just the likelihood that we have to see that we have to see what we contribute to our bad situation. Her crying online is not is not making herself realize the accountability of what she did. Again, two things can be true. I'm not taking away from the guy who did something terrible to her, but I'm also holding her accountable for what she did that will lead to that bad outcome. That's just it. Both people, I mean, I'm holding both people accountable. The guy should not be, should not have done that to her because it's distasteful. It's, it's immoral. Why would you do that? You know? Especially you, you're you're trying to sell it to people or like, you know, shoot it out to the you know, to the masses. I guess whatever. That's that's distasteful. But I'm just saying that this generation, we are, we live so much on social media. We are so hooked on social media, right? Instagram, uh, TikTok, YouTube. What's the other ones? I don't know. WhatsApp or uh, what's the other one? Snapchat, all these things, right? And then we're connecting to strangers, people we don't know personally. And even if pers people we per personally know can do you wrong, imagine people we don't know what they would 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 not what they wouldn't mind doing to you. It's just something that we have to realize that first. This world is not a utopia. You know, there's good and bad people and there's a spectrum in between. You do something, you expecting good outcomes, you know, you're being delusional. And you have to see your part in any any consequences, whether good or bad, that you contribute to. So I'm more saying that this woman should understand that you post things online. They're bad people will take this, the things you post and alter it and do what they want with it. That's just, that's just plain and simple. And I would rather people understand the dangers 
okay, the dangers and risk of posting things online and then taking it into account. She should come and like, you know what? I mean, also, like, let's say the, the people that insulted her. Well, that's online. People will insult you to your face. So imagine, like I said before, imagine the, the power, the, the, I don't know, the power rush or whatever, the craziness of people, you know, having the power of anonymity to insult you. It will be 10 times, 100 times worse. So really, I'll be like, fuck it, whatever. You can insult me all you want. You got to be crazy if you're sensitive to that because you be delusional to think that every comment you get should be a nice one. I I post things. I know people are going to insult me. People are going to insult my look, my race, the things I say, whatever. I'm not delusional to that. I'm just hoping that what I'm doing is that I at least reach people that do enjoy it or take some value out of it. That's just it. I, I mean... You got expectators, and I don't know. You just gotta expect th- things that not everything is gonna be like you know sunflowers and and rainbows, which is like her crying online is just ridiculous. Because okay, you know people are doing that. I mean, I guess it's good that she's doing a PSA or whatever, telling people that if you see these pictures, they're fake. But okay, but it's like. I hope she's not like saying, oh, don't do these pictures. Well, I mean, like, you can't control other people. You can't control strangers. So, like I said, um, this video is more about saying that I want people to understand when you are so open, when you participate on the social media, online community, understand the dangers and consequences of it. That's it. I would like to put that into je- life in general. Why I brought up the thing where, let's say, let's say the, the whole topic of abuse or, you know, the, the R word. Is that although you don't, it's not like you deserve bad things to happen to you. It's more like you should understand that if you do certain actions, bad things can or may happen. So you take that risk. That's up to you. You post or you do things online. You take that risk. It's up to you. It's your choice to take that risk or not. You know, that's the only, that's the only power you have, right? On yourself. It's your choice. If you want to go to parties, if you want to walk late late at night, if you want to dress provocatively, if you want to deal with terrible men, it's your choice. What happens, you have to understand that you contributed, even in a small or big way, whatever, to good or bad consequences. You have to accept. You have to understand that stuff. I'm not saying that you deserve it, right? I'm not saying no one deserved She didn't deserve what happened to her, but I just want people to be delusional to not see the accountability, the The accountability of your own actions in life. That's just it. 